When you are using a knife to cut your food, you should use a wooden or plastic board to cut your food on. This will stop the counter from getting scratched. There are different types of stoves for cooking. Two different electric stoves. And one gas stove. It is really important that when you are cooking on your stove, you put your food in a pan to cook it and do not put it right on the electric ring or the gas. It is also important not to put tin foil under your electric or gas burners. This can be dangerous. Do not walk away from your food that is cooking on your stove. Remember to turn your stove off when you have finished cooking. If the gas is turned on but there is no flame, it will smell like bad eggs. If you smell gas coming from your gas stove, call your maintenance department right away. The oven where you will bake food also works with electricity or gas. When you use your oven, always put food in a pan when you cook it. If you use a microwave oven, remember never to put anything made of metal in the oven. It can be very dangerous. After cooking, there may be oil left in the pan. Do not pour this down the sink. It could block the drain and make it hard to use the sink. When the oil is cold, put it into an empty cup or can and throw it in your compost bucket or the trash. When using the shower, make sure the shower curtain is on the inside of the shower, like this, and not on the outside. This will keep the water inside the shower. If the curtain is on the outside of the shower while the water is running, water will spill onto the floor and could cause damage. Toilets make a lot of noise when they flush, but they should be quiet the rest of the time. If it sounds like there is water running when you're not using the toilet, you should try moving the handle up and down gently and see if the noise stops. If it doesn't, you should call maintenance right away. Yes, I have a problem with my toilet. Yeah, it's not flushing properly. Can you send somebody right away, please? Thank you. You can put toilet paper in the toilet, but if you put other things in your toilet, it is likely that your toilet will get blocked and you will be unable to use it. If the toilet is blocked, you can use a plunger to unblock it. If this doesn't work, do not use your toilet and call maintenance right away. If you notice water leaking out of a pipe, you should put a bucket or bowl below it to catch the water. You should call the phone number you have for maintenance right away. In each bathroom there is a fan that keeps the smells from the toilet and moisture from the shower away. Please keep the fan clean from dust in the bathroom using a broom or a vacuum. It is important that in the winter, if you need to open your window, only do so for a short time. A window left open for a long time can freeze the water in your water pipes. If the water in your water pipes freezes, the pipe can break and water will flood into your apartment. If you leave your window open while your heat is on, your heating bill will also be very expensive. Keeping your windows shut and locked properly will make you feel very safe in your house and keep the heat in and the cold out. In the winter, you must take out your window air conditioning units to keep the heat in and the cold out. It is important that we don't turn the heat off during the cold months. If the heat is turned off, water can freeze in the pipes. The pipes could break open and water will come into your apartment 
and will cause a lot of damage to the building and your belongings. This is really important. If you go away and leave your apartment, do not turn your heat off. Turn it down to about 60 degrees. Lead is a metal that is poisonous and found inside paint in old houses. It is very dangerous for children. When the paint falls off in small pieces or dust, like in these pictures, it is possible that children could lick or eat it. Because lead dust can be invisible, it can fall to the floor and you may not see it. Clean often around all the windows, including the floor nearby, with a wet cloth or wet paper towels. This can help to make sure lead dust isn't spread around and removes the dust from your home. Call your landlord if you have peeling or flaking paint. Your apartment has smoke detectors. There are several different types. This is what they can look like. They make a loud noise when there is smoke in the apartment. If it is making a very loud noise, Leave your apartment immediately and call 911. Hello? Hello, yes, um, I have an emergency. The fire alarm is going off and, the, and I can smell smoke. What should I do? Okay, thanks. Smoke detectors should not have anything over them so they can work properly and keep us safe. Please remember, it is important not to hang anything over doorways or smoke detectors. If your smoke detector is beeping once or twice every 60 seconds, it means that it needs a new battery. If this happens, you should call maintenance. If there is a fire and you need to escape, it is important that you can get through a window in your apartment easily. Do not block your windows, keep them clear. It is also important to make sure that people can easily walk down your hallway so that if there is an emergency, and a firefighter needs to enter your apartment, they will be able to do so. In your apartment, there will be a red fire extinguisher, usually near your kitchen. You can use the fire extinguisher if the fire is small and not growing, the room is not filled with smoke, you feel okay using a fire extinguisher, you have a safe way to exit your apartment, and you have already called the fire department. If the fire is growing, leave your apartment immediately. And once you are a safe distance away from the house, call 911. There are some things that should not be put in the trash. Plastic bottles, cans, glass jars or paper can be put in the recycling bin instead. Please clean them first. Never put food or containers with food in the recycling. You can put all your food scraps in the composting bucket. They do not belong in the trash. There is a large composting bin outside your building where you can put the food scraps from your house. Taking your trash, recycling and compost out to the bin every couple of days will keep your apartment clean. Your apartment will have an area outside with large bins. One of them is for recycling. One of them is for trash and one is for composting. It's always important to open mail from your landlord. There may be important information about your housing in your mail. In the same way that you buy car insurance, should anything happen to your car, you should also buy renter's insurance, which means that if your belongings get stolen or destroyed, you will be able to replace what you have lost. Talk to your property manager or your car insurance provider for more information. If you are having problems with your landlord and want to get advice about what to do, you can call Vermont Tenants on 
0099. If no one picks up, leave a message with your name and the language that you speak. They will get back to you. You can contact ALLV for assistance on 802-985-3106 or the Refugee Programme on 802-655-1963. If you have a case manager, you can also contact them for advice and support about your housing.